Hello and welcome. My name is Julia and this is my Rainbow Kitchen where I show you how easy it is to follow a whole food plant-based lifestyle using the Thermomix. If this is your first time here, welcome and please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps me grow my channel. And if you're back, welcome back. Thanks so much and please share my video so that we can help other people see how great this whole foods plant-based lifestyle is. Today I want to make a sweet chili sauce. So you can just buy a bottle of sweet chili sauces and you can probably find one that's completely plant-based. Uh, but it does have sugar in it and I wanted to see if I could make one using dates instead of sugar and maybe even leave out the cornstarch. So it's a bit of an experiment here today. So let's see how it goes. The first uh, ingredient is going to be quarter cup of uh, rice vinegar and I could take out the cup measurements but I don't want to do that, I want to use my scale um, and so I'm looking at my rice vinegar bottle here and it says one tablespoon is 15 milliliters um, and there's four tablespoons in a quarter cup so that would be about 60 milliliters or 60 grams so the first thing I'm going to do is switch over to the uh, metric system. So I'm going to switch to metric and then go to the scales and I'm going to add 60 grams of rice vinegar here. The next ingredient is a quarter cup of sugar. So I don't want to use sugar, I want to use the dates. A quarter cup of sugar is about 30 grams. Uh, when I make date paste, I use uh, about half ass of 10 to 15 grams of dates and 10 to 15 grams of sugar, of, of water in this case. So I'm going to start with one date um, and see how many grams that is. Okay, so I'm guessing this is going to be about one gram. And then I'm going to add some water to make it 30 grams. Uh, next ingredient is going to be a quarter cup of water. So a quarter cup is two ounces. Two ounces would be about uh, 55 grams. So let's go with 50 grams. Uh, 60 grams of water. This was a quarter, so it's about 50 grams of water. It's a table, uh, four tablespoons make one quarter cup, and I use four tablespoons. Next is a tablespoon of sambal oleg. I don't have sambal oleg. And according to the internet, the difference between um, chili garlic sauce and sambal oleg is that chili garlic sauce has garlic in it, while sambal oleg doesn't. Um, and I believe sambal oleg may also not be vegan, but this is definitely it. And then the next would be uh, cornstarch and uh, some water for the thickening, but we're gonna skip that for the moment because I think the date itself, the fiber in the date itself, will do enough to thicken the sauce. And I'm gonna try out. Uh, switch this back to the uh, imperial mode, um, and so the temperature I'm gonna select is 212. That's the thickening temperature we wanna use for starch based thickener, and basically the date is a starch based thickener. Um, 12 minutes seems okay. From here we're just gonna turn it on and to start. So I'll be back in 12 minutes. Well, you won't see it as 12 minutes. Uh, we'll be back when this is finished. So welcome back. Uh, here is our result of our um, experiment. And it looks good. So it's slightly thickened. You know, it's not clear the way you uh, see with the commercial uh, sweet chili sauces, which is to be expected since we um, then you use sugar and not cornstarch for thickening. I'm gonna give this a taste. And it's definitely got a little bit of a punch of heat, but it has a little bit of sweetness. So maybe next time I would use two dates instead of just the one. Um, probably don't need to increase the water. You know, you just add a little bit of uh, the two dates and then, you know, about a quarter cup of water, um, which ended up being about 50 grams. So it comes out quite nice, so I'm going to put this away and I'm going to get started on the uh, next recipe that I'm intending to use, this chili sauce. Thanks for joining me in my Rainbow Kitchen today. Uh, I showed you how easy it is to make your own whole foods plant-based sweet chili sauce with the Thermomix. Um, if you want to learn more about the Thermomix, then uh, please contact me and we'll get started. I have a video where I explain how the process works. So, you know, check that out and then send me a message and we can get you started.